What is up, Bomb Squad? Welcome to the Burn Down YouTube channel. So this week, I got terrible news that my local 8th Mile Drag Strip, Irwindale, is actually closing. If you've been on this channel for any length of time, you've seen the boom run there. Um, majority of it's live. It was the closest drag strip to me. It was about 40 miles, 30-something miles away. So it wasn't too bad, and they had a regularly scheduled tested tune like every Tuesday. I'm in Southern California, and they would run through December pretty much. So, I mean, it's basically racing year-round. Uh, the main thing that pre prevented me from going was my car seems to be on jack stands with improvements a lot because to go faster takes a lot of money and time and effort. But it was always like, man, as soon as we're done, I want to go test at Irwindale, which will no longer be the case. This brings me up to a good point. If you live in Southern California... Southern California is the home of hot rodding. It is where drag racing started. Uh, this is, you know, the mecca, or used to be, I should say. And it's just slowly dwindled away. And you could say it's politics or whatever else and bureaucrats and everything else under the sun. Uh, I think a large part of the issue is just the value. It is so valuable to live in California, even the house that I bought. I can't afford this house at this point had I tried to buy it now just because things are ridiculous. Um, with that being said, we have a couple tracks, so it's not the complete end. It just pushes pushes it further oh, out of reach, so to speak. So my next closest track is 80 miles, which is Barona by San Diego. And then the next closest track after that is Bakersfield. Bakersfield doesn't have a lot of events. Uh, maybe this will push some events in to Bakersfield. And then the other one, which I was talking to my buddy Joe earlier about this, is Pomona, which is a world-class facility. They run fuel cars and all that there, but it just never seems to be open. They just don't open it for average people, right? It's like a big deal if you get to go run your car there as an average individual. So, I don't know. You guys can leave it in the comments. We can kind of talk about it, but it seems to be the way things are going. And the other thing is I've heard mixed reviews, but every time I was at Irwindale, like on a Thursday, that place is packed. Yeah, you get there at 5 or 4 or whatever. Of course, nobody's there. But as the day or the evening wore on, I mean, those stands would be packed. There'd be a lot of people. And granted, in the really hot months, you know, we've had some triple-digit months over here, like it seems like forever. Of course, people aren't going to show up. The track's greasy and hot, and, and people don't want to sit in the stands for that kind of action. But for the most part, especially even the last time I was there, there's a lot of people. And I don't know. I mean, it's just the value. Things are too much, too expensive. And I guess they'll probably put up warehouses or whatever that they do. That's what they did with Fontana. They put a bunch of Amazon or Walmart warehouses or whatever. Logistically, it's by freeways. It makes sense. You know, you have the goods there and you truck them out and it is what it is. So I don't know where we go from here. I want to finish my car. And my goal should be the same as your goal if you're watching this. Get the car off jack stands. Get it running. Um... You know, don't plan for some car that's so far out of reach that you can't just enjoy it a bit. Because, let's be honest, it takes a while to do these things. And the more time we spend trying to get it perfect instead of getting it on the track, the less days and weekends and months and events we're going to have to run these things. So, ultimately, I mean, I kind of see the, the writing on the wall. It seems, especially at least in Southern California, that, you know, I don't know. I don't know how many more years these tracks are actually going to last. I hope they last a while longer, at least while I'm interested in racing, so I need to get my car finished and get it back out to the track. Uh, unfortunately, I, I'm not even close to being able to put the Malaboom uh, in any sort of fighting shape at this point, but uh, I do have a daily and I can go over there and support and eat hot dogs and I can take my son and we can watch a few more last races, get some swag so we have the hats and all the stuff and you know, we can be one of those guys. I'll be like the old guy with the Lions drag strip t-shirt like, I used to go here when I was young. But um, it did bum me out. I didn't even want to make a video the day that it happened because I just thought about it all day and, you know, what I was going to do and whatnot. So my other advice to kind of myself, because I'm in here talking to myself, but to you guys as well, is I think this is partly why the drag and drive movement um, is important and it's a bit larger or should be in my opinion. It's not because it's my favorite. It's also because it's a dual purpose vehicle. So everybody... They had golf carts pushing cars or trailering those really expensive fast cars. I mean, they're beautiful, wonderful, but now those things are going to sit in a garage, and I don't, I don't know what events <clears throat> those guys are going to look forward to going to. So 
Um, I think some of the other tracks might take the overflow, I would hope. And then the other thing too is we all just need to go bug Lindsay Snyder, I believe is her name, from in and out and tell her she needs to open that freaking Pomona up. I think they're the headlining sponsor. I don't know what the deal is with them at Pomona. I guess I could have looked it up before I jumped on here, but I know she's involved. It used to be AAA, but now I think in and out is like the headlining sponsor or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know if we can reach out to those people somehow as a community and get some sort of thing open where we can at least run there because that would be a world-class facility that we could go run at, which would be amazing. They haven't opened that thing in I don't even know how many years to the public, so I doubt they will. Uh, Barona, luckily, is 80 miles away. It's by San Diego. They have a lot of test and tunes and all that stuff, so that'll kind of be my new home away from home. It's just a bit further. It's more of a, an endeavor to go down there. Uh, more gas money and all that other stuff. And then I would love to see Bakersfield get more events. They don't seem to really pack the calendar, um, but I don't pay that much attention because it wasn't really my local uh, gig. So we'll start paying more attention to that, and we'll kind of see where the chips fall. But... Yeah, if you're in Southern California, it is, it's, I've had a pretty tough week, I'll be honest. I had some other personal stuff happen and the track closed and, you know, it doesn't help matters. But, you know, put my head down. I want to get my car finished. You should get your car finished, get it off jack stands. And let's at least do this. Let's enjoy these tracks while they're around. I mean, if we can make a difference and keep them open, that's great. Uh, I was talking to my buddy again, too, and I was mentioning spectating. And he's like, oh, unless I'm racing, I'm taking a car. I'm not going. I said, dude. You know, like my car, I, I go often when my car's down a lot, and I like to go and see my friends and hang out and watch stuff. It keeps me motivated, but it also puts, you know, you buy some hot dogs and pay the entry fee, and that's that's how tracks make money. So, yeah, just because you're not racing or your car's not running, if you got the time and you, you do have a local track to support, because I'll tell you what, it's a lot harder to go eat hot dogs and take my son 80 miles away um, now to just go on a whim versus it was to just go 30 Granted, the distance is probably the same because traffic. So I'll be honest with you, I could probably drive down near to San Diego in the same amount of time it took me to go 30 miles. But you guys get the point. It's also one of those things that it hits home. You hear about everybody's tracks and everybody's stuff closing, and then when it's your track. Granted, Irwindale has been closed multiple times before, but I think it's wishful thinking to think, oh, it'll just be the same. You know, it'd be great if maybe they open back up, but I'm not going to count on it. Um, and like I said, I'm going to, Stay on my schedule, try to get my car going, and hopefully next year I have some places to race. And then the flip side of the coin, like I said, is even without the racing, I'm going to do hopefully a lot more of the drive portion uh, with the Malibu next year. Now, if you watched the video this far and you're local, maybe you're into uh, drag drive style stuff, maybe that's why you follow me on here. I have been thinking, everybody keeps talking about trying to do like racing events. Well, I'd like to do baby steps and at least do some driving events, which Obviously, we don't need tracks and things like that for, but to get hot rods out, take them on some drives that are a bit tougher, not your average little drives. Um, maybe get some elevation, come back down, plan some checkpoints and things, and take like groups of people that have maybe never been on a drag and drive and kind of put them through the drive portion of it, but also with myself, uh, probably the War Boys for some support. And then if we keep it local enough, depending on where you're from, if you really break down and stuff hits the fan, Hopefully AAA can get you home if that is the case or a buddy or a trailer or whatever. But I'd like to do some tougher like drive days, right? We can't do the race portion because I'm not that far along with the channel. I don't have enough pull or anything to really get in that kind of deep water. But I think that I could facilitate starting next year some sort of drive days. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. If you bring a hot rod out, if we had like a big meetup and then we kind of plan a route and, and make a day and have some fun uh, kind of doing that thing. But yeah, man, if you have local track, go enjoy it. Go spectate if your car's down. Um, if your car's not down, go take it out there. Make some passes. Run it. Enjoy it while it lasts, man, because uh, this is my hobby. It's what I love to do. And if you, if they take all the cars and drag racing everything away, which I'm terrified of the robo-taxis and all the stuff Musk has coming, because as soon as those hit the street, that means that car is going to be safer than a human driver, which means my insurance is probably going to go through the roof, so I won't even be able to afford to drive a vehicle anymore. So... Get out there and drive them. Let's drive as much as we can, as often as we can, and enjoy this before um, it all folds up and goes away at some point. But yeah, a little bit depressing video. But yeah, give me your thoughts in the comments. Let me know. And I appreciate all you guys. Wanted to give you a quick update video for the week because I've been kind of MIA. But like I said, I got put through the ringer this week, I'll be honest with you. And um, just on a side note, it's still here because I got sick last week. 
So they're coming to pick it up and we'll wrap this video. So I'm pretty stoked on that. I filmed the whole install with Gene and did some time lapse and some other stuff, but yeah, we'll wrap that one too. Anyway, you guys know what to do. I'm out. Rolling through the streets, yeah, I'm the king of the block. Got that dragon dry style, make your whole city rock. Malaboon gangster, when it touch of finesse. I'm burning rubber, raising hell, feel the heat, no stress. Turbo LS under the hood, I'm moving quick. Nikki tires, grip the road, make them stick like a trick. She sloppy too, we got a hit in 08. In the world performance parts all over the place. The bomb squads on the scene, you two's going wild.